Hi, it's Andrew again. Uh, I'm doing a video on ROMs and kernels, how to flash them, how to back up your data, uh, how to keep some information that you probably want to keep when you're switching from ROM to ROM, uh, like your text messages or your apps and data. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is when once you've rooted and have a custom recovery, if you haven't installed a custom recovery, please view my other videos. Or if you just want Clockwork Mod and your device is one of the supported devices, you can just install ROM Manager and uh, install Clockwork Mod from that app. Just load up the app and the first option you'll have on the top um, would be to flash the Clockwork Mod recovery for your device. Okay. And then once you have that on your device, you're going to want to back up your apps on your um, from your device there's a couple apps you can use uh, titanium backup will back up your apps and data system settings everything uh, I would recommend you only really back up your system settings and everything if you're just upgrading your ROM meaning you're going from one sign engine mod leak to another sign engine mod update or vice versa not if you are going from a custom UI, something like Sense, to AOSP based, which is Android open source project like Sign Engine Mod, or just pure uh, AOSP or OMGB, anything like that. You wouldn't want to restore, um, save your settings from Sense or Moto Blur or TouchWiz and go to the AOSP because they won't transfer properly and you'll end up with a lot of problems. So in order to back up your apps in Titanium Backup, you hit Menu, hit Batch, and then Backup All User Apps. And I have 122. Uh, I don't like backing up and restoring with Titanium, not because it's bad, it actually works great. I just, uh, when you're restoring it on the free version, it uh, takes a while because you have to approve every single app that goes through. What I use instead is I use my backup root. You can back up your apps on here and uh, then restore them once you've got your, your, uh, your new ROM loaded. Now let's say you want to also save your text messages. Okay, I use an app called SMS Backup and Restore. It's extremely quick. I'll just back it up right now. Show you, it takes like almost no time to, this is 904 text messages that it's just saving. Boom. Done. Uh, the next thing you want to do is once you're okay with that, go into your recovery. Now every phone is going to be different and depending on what, um, ROM you're currently running in order to get into recovery. CyanogenMod has it built into the power off. Um, other devices like this one, if I was running stock sense, I'd power off the device and then hold volume down when I'm powering it back on. And then I can um, go into recovery that way. However, just about every phone should work if you use the command prompt that I showed on the previous video from the computer with it hooked up and you do the ADB command, uh, ADB reboot recovery, you should, it should automatically reboot into recovery for you. Um, Samsung devices that use a secondary recovery for custom recoveries, it probably don't, won't work. You'll need to do the three button combination or two button uh, depending on your device. Because uh, if you try to do it, it'll just load up the stock re recovery which was not overwritten. On HCC phones, the stock recovery is overwritten. Also, because of that, you cannot upgrade if you're running a stock-based uh, sense ROM. Do not upgrade when an over-the-air update comes up, OTA updates. Do not accept them. They will not work if you do not have the stock recovery from HTC. Uh, and you'll end up probably in a boot loop, which would suck. All right, so now you're in recovery. You have your... Um, your ROM that you want to load also on already on your SD card. If you don't have it on your SD card, you can, and you have it on your computer, it's not too late. Uh, you can either reboot and download it from the phone directly. That's what I do. I do not actually download them onto my computer because I'm almost never actually at my computer. Uh, 
Um, I haven't ever had a problem with a bad download. However, it is recommended to use a computer and transfer the, device, the ROM over. And also you can check the MD5 sum if you would like to make sure that the, the ROM that you're downloading and putting onto your phone uh, is the same thing that the developer has uploaded. or it, It's basically a little text file or hex file um, included and to determine the integrity of the of the of the download so if you haven't already done so you can actually go to advanced in clockwork mod and uh, uh, or actually mounts and storage sorry about that Mount, mounts and storage and then mount USB storage which is towards the bottom that will uh, mount your SD card light as if it was a USB stick and you should be able to see it on your device and transfer files over now I already have a ROM on here in fact I have quite a few ROMs on here um, first thing you want to do is uh, data fact um, actually no you're gonna back up everything just in case you can't get uh, um, you have a bad download or something like that you don't like it you want to restore everything do a backup you just hit backup and then do a full backup and then uh, if you wanted to restore it you wipe everything like I'm gonna show you in a little bit and then hit restore uh, on some ROMs you can just do advanced restore and just select like the data and it'll restore your apps and apps data and everything like that um, that's going to be device and ROM specific. I don't recommend it. Uh, so once you have a backup, you're going to want to wipe uh, your data factory reset. Uh, some sites will tell you to do it three times. It really doesn't matter because if it doesn't work, you just wipe it again and reflash it. Um, or if you're having issues, just do that. So I'm going to format my data here. And it the data depending on the device how much data you have, it can take a little bit. It's not nearly as long as it takes to back up uh, the phone. So I mean, the backup backing up of the phone can take about five to ten minutes. And then that's the long part of the wiping process. You can wipe cache. I do. I think it's wiped anyway. So, yep. See the same script up here it says formatting cache, and this one's formatting cache. I do it because. I don't know. It really doesn't take that long, and I don't have a problem. Next thing you want to do is go to Advanced and wipe the Dalvik cache. This is going to be mandatory for both ROMs and kernels. On a, if you're just uh, installing a kernel that's compatible with your ROM, you do not have to wipe. You just need to uh, wipe your data. You, you you just need to wipe the Dalvik cache before you um, flash your kernel for that device. And flashing a kernel is the same thing as flashing a ROM. You just go into here, install zip, choose zip from SD card. Uh, let's see, which one do I want to install? I'll install a sense-based one for, for now, why not? So I'll install a BAMF one. And you just select it, confirm it, and it'll just install the ROM. On this one, it's actually going to uh, wipe the Dalvik cache anyway. Um, most from, most developers put the script to do it in there, but not all. So that's why it's important for you to do it yourself, just in case the developer didn't add the, the script into uh, their package. It doesn't take too long to flash a ROM. Uh, it also will depend on the type of ROM. Since this is a sense-based ROM, it's going to take quite a bit longer than... Um, an AOSP ROM and the reason for that is on this phone the Thunderbolt a sense based ROM is usually around 300 megabytes and uh, an AOSP ROM is somewhere between 60 and 100 so quite a big difference in file size um, and that also will and also processor speed and everything like that's gonna have an impact on how quick things are done And then I'll have this booted up in just a second.
Okay. Once that's complete, you're going to get back to the uh, selection menu. Uh, just go back out to the main menu. And then reboot the system. Now when this reboots, it should load up with uh, a sense-based ROM. And you'll see um, probably the normal HTC sounds welcome screen. Now to also restore your apps, you're going to want to probably bypass all the setting up. I mean, you can go through the setting up if you want to. It's not a problem. But uh, go into the market. First thing you want to install is uh, the My Backup uh, root or Titanium if you use that one instead. The either one is they're both fine apps. They both work just as well. But uh, you, you're going to want to load one of those up and as at first and restore all your apps that way. The reason why I say you probably want to skip the original setup is that you're, if you're going from a like ROM to a like ROM, most likely the, uh, with the exception I didn't get it working once on my Epic, but most likely Google will try to restore your apps and that's going to take a while and use up your data um, if you have a limited data plan. Probably want to fly through that and maybe log into a Wi-Fi connection, whatever. Um, but then sign into your Google account once you get to the home screen uh, and then first thing you do is load up the my root backup or my backup root or uh, titanium and then restore that way that'll probably be the fastest way to get it everything up and running again because you don't have to re-download everything and then reset all the data for it you're just loading it from the SD card which will be a lot faster than downloading and restoring the apps okay and that is how to flash a different ROM. Um, just restoring it, you're just going to want to, if you want to go back to a previous ROM or a previous backup, you'll have to wipe everything again and then just restore it. You do a, a full restore, everything should be back the way it was. All your widgets in place, apps, data, text messages, emails, everything, all the settings will be up and running. Now, the reason why I didn't say to back up your mail is because it's kind of pointless. If you have all your contacts on your uh, Google account already, make sure you do that before you um, you flash a new ROM because they'll just restore immediately once your data connection is back up and running. And you can see Sense on this phone, which was running AOSP before. Okay. That should be it for now. Let me know if you have any questions.